This deck got me top 8 in the entire world in the current Clash Royale League banner John Cup where I'm qualifying or trying to qualify at least for the Clash Royale League World Finals and facing Morbid Light in the next one. It's actually the 50,000 prize tournament. So it's about winning the golden ticket to qualify directly to the World Finals. And also, I think the first guy who wins this tournament gets 20k total prize. So, honestly, really big tournament. This is the main deck which I use in any single best of three, which is just so solid. It's really similar to normal Skeleton King variation with the Valkyrie. But you got also the Bowler instead of the Valkyrie, which does really, really well against any type of bridge turn deck, against Gold. Him and it's just a really really good also a card in general has had like a ton of HP and really solid on defense and then you get a snowball plus arrow combination instead of the fireball arrows which you're playing a normal deck because it helps you way better against all the type of bait decks and generally in duels format which like CL is currently played similar to clan war this deck is doing way better with like small spells because you can still save the fireball for any other deck if you guys want to see more content just like that on the channel don't forget to subscribe also make sure to activate the notification bell because you guys are Always get notified when I'm uploading a new video, and also make sure to use Creator Good Morning Shop. I would really appreciate. I would say let's dive jump to the games and let's see how the stack does compared to the normal Graveyard Skelly King Valkyrie Fireball Arrows deck. Here we go, guys. See your next game. We're actually facing a funny guys. Looking for Thomas and like Thompson in general is worth the best cards. Everybody's playing it, and also the Skelly King is because of the Thompson, really, really great. And most of the opponents also playing Thompson, so it's like double duty there and helps on both sides. So Honestly, I think this classic splash hit variation should be a great matchup. Um, because we have Inferno D here. I think I'm in this situation. I don't really want to use the ability. So I'm just going to let this go. Got a ball in the back. Kind of reset. And soon I might just go in for my... Okay, just go Inferno D here. I think, I'm just... I think the bowler should kill the Isis, right? Okay. I can see what I'm gonna do right now. Just gonna go Zappies here because now then Faraday survives and I can just go for a grave. He needs to poison on defense, but the poison alone on defense won't be enough. So, actually, what I'm gonna do right now is just go Skelly King, obviously, and the bridge. Why? Just to pressure because he's so low on Elix and now we get like a ton of stuff out of the. Um, this. Okay, I might just use the ability still. I think it's worth it. Because the Skelly King actually connects the Skelly King Splash range is also really, really good. I, ho I think I kill the Knight. I also get like 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1k. 1k damage from I think like 30% charged Skelly King. And we st also, we also kill the Knight. So I think there's really no room for complaining, I guess. I'm just going for my Tombstone in the back. Okay, I'm just gonna go bowl here. I think bowl in this situation is completely fine. Um, I think I'm just gonna go set up high or like setting up a high infinity at this point. Skelly King. The good thing is, okay, that was honestly not too bad from him, but still, my Thompson is really helping a lot. So he still needs to defend both sides. I'm just go Zappy split here. Supporting both sides. I mean, I'm just gonna go graveyard here. I'm also gonna use the build here. I'm just go snowballing here. His um, skeleton also is Infernity. He still defend uh, left side. He doesn't have enough elixir for poison. Poison will come late. GG's well played. He's got a nado, but yeah, I kind of feel a bit like, sad for him. I mean, our deck actually hard counters his deck. So if you're looking for a deck which counters like this defensive graveyard deck, Infernity does the really well. Ball does really, really well. In general, you have every single answer you need. GG's well played. Another great win. Here we go, guys. Here on next game. Just go for Zappies in the back. Honestly, that's really, really great. Um, hmm. Okay, Tombstone. I guess it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, okay, Packers. Okay, we don't really see any Packer anymore because of all the Tombstone decks, to be fair. And this is also... Oh, I misclicked. I wanted to go... Oh, that's unfortunate because now we don't have any great um, long-range counters. So we kind of just get leaking into that and maybe defuse the defensive ability. Okay, let's see. Heroes Infernity. What the heck is this deck, dude? Just go for uh, Infernity High. Let's see if he has Eros. He does, but actually, kinda got lucky there. Okay, I'll just go for my Zeppis here. I mean, it's completely fine. It's actually completely fine, okay. I mean, I think we would have had a better situation. Okay. Tombstone. Just go bowler like this. Oh my 
god, inhuman reaction! I think it was honestly a perfect bowler placement. Couldn't have done it any better. Yeah, I think this was a perfect bowler placement. Um, yeah, I'm still a bit mad about one bowler. Um, yeah, that I just clicked on the left side. I think would have done a really great job on the right. Hmm, just got like destroyed by Inferno D. But still fine. Okay, he goes pack on the back this time. Okay, I'm just go for my Inferno Dragon here. It's once again no bowl and cycle. I think he might have Firewall. So if I go in for my Zappies. Okay, I'm just go for an early Skelly King here. You just go for Zappies like this. Okay, I'm just go Tombstone. Get a full charge. Okay, let's go arrows here. Just go for a bowler like this. I mean, bowler isn't really too good against Graveyard, especially if he doesn't do what I want him to do. Let me, I, I, what? Sir, I wanted you to hit his skeletons. So I'm just go for my Valk and family in the back. See what he does. Okay, let's go Zappies here. I mean, he might use the Fireball now. Okay, he goes, he goes in a really aggressive, so I can use my ability instant now. Let's go for Thompson here, I think Thompson is still cleaning up this. And as you guys can see, I mean it's absolutely ridiculous. Like just skeleton at the bridge, using the ability Valkyrie out of cycle and we got so much damage. Okay, I mean I could just go for another grave here to be fair. Okay, I'm just go this, this. Need to go Skelly King maybe first. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I mean, the only bad thing is that he also has Graveyard. Okay, he's gonna Valkyrie now. Um, okay, let's go in Graveyard opposite lane, I think. I'm gonna use the ability now on this side. Just to tank for that. I'm also gonna Snowball now. And look at this. Valkyrie doesn't counter Graveyard if you play the Graveyard like this. I think it's the best Graveyard spot you can do because if you know your pro is Valkyrie, I mean, as you guys could see that, right? He played a Valkyrie of the Graveyard without a tank because he blocked my Eternity at the bridge and still we got like 1k damage in a few seconds. Here we go guys, here in the first game our opponent just has an Archer Queen level 13. I mean, this deck doesn't have the best answer against Archer Queen, but if it's like an example like an Archer Queen uh, Magna deck, we should have a really great match. I mean, I showed a similar deck already last couple of days with the Valkyrie instead of the Skate King, also Fireball. Um, okay, that's fine, I guess, if I go for Zappies like this. And this is why we have like all of this answers against it. Let's go for arrows here. Arrows are completely fine in this situation. This is what I want to see. Honestly, a really solid deck in general. Um, I mean, it's worth the same as controls. I use this deck in almost every single best of... I um, can just go, I think, for a bowler here at the bridge. Because all of his answers are kind of out of cycle, so... It seems honestly really, really fine. And just go for the ability here still, because I think it's worth it. At least he needs to commit two more elixir. So this is fine. As you guys will see, he, and we got the plus one elixir trade. So I use this deck against like almost an every every single best of three man. I cannot talk, man. I'm like kind of feeling underwear today. Um, I'm a bit sick. I feel better than yesterday, but still a bit sick. So if I talk like a bit nonsense, um, don't be rude to me, guys. Um, but I call for for top eight CRR. This deck will be actually at Saturday, I think. Which is casting that? It's going to be like the first one called was directly to World Finals. So it will be really interesting. Um, and I face more light in the first one, but actually like this deck, even people are expecting me to play it, it's just still so overall so damn good that you can, uh, it's actually so hard to counter, right? I mean, if you have the bowler in the deck as I have, um, it's way better against bridge spam. So this is the main reason I was always playing this deck, um, because it's way better against bridge, it's also better against golem. So this deck generally really does really well um, against this type of decks and competitive especially there's way more bridge spam as it is in ladder. So I think right now it's time to go in. This is really great. You can wait with the stack always until your opponent is going in. I'm just going for arrows here. The great thing is he most likely just drops the skeleton army now on top of the graveyard. No he doesn't but still. I mean it's fine. I can just go for zappy split. Still make sure that I still have like getting some value out of the left side. I think I can just go for a graveyard on the right. This is also really great if you're skeleton on the, on the map. With a free card cycle, so I can just drop my Skelly King ability on this side. Let's see what he does. He needs to go for arrows or for a snowball. He does, but still so much damage. I think it's even like it's even more damage on the other side. It's even more damage on the other side. I can just go for bowler here. 
The great thing is I could also go in for an Inferno Dragon. He cannot really kill because he had to use Snowball in defense. So, this is just looking nasty. Okay, he can actually do it. He's cycled back to it already. I'm just going for Snowball here. I mean, it's still fine. I mean, he's getting a ton of damage, but... Have fun defending this, my brother. Have fun defending this. I just hope he's not going to get another Arch Queen ability. Let's go for this. Let's go for Thompson really, really low here. And let's see. Let's go for Arrow C. I don't really think there's any way for him to defend this or like finish us before we are finishing him. GG's well played. Bowl actually also connect for one hit. This deck is absolutely insane. I mean, it's kind of for me unfortunate that I always need to show you like kind of similar decks all the time. Because of no meta changes, but still I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm so excited for the new update, which should come soon. I think we should get the first information like next week at least. I hope at least. So... It's a ton of at least, but I just hope that so we have like some new changing dash choice so what I really would like to see and also hopefully soon a new meta. So yeah, just telling you why I'm feeling like it's kind of stay right now. I mean, the decks which I'm so showing you is really similar. And yeah, I would like also to see a Archer Queen nerf and Skelly King nerf in general because I mean, some decks they're not viable because Archer Queen and Skelly King do like so well against them. Here we go next game. I'm just gonna go for Tombstone once again. He cycles a snowball, so this could also be like a different or like similar variation. Okay. I'm just gonna go for this. I would like to Skelly King honestly in front of that, but I don't. But still fine. At least my Thompson stays alive. This is like not too bad. I'm just gonna go with Snowball here. Like why not? If I see this kind of cards, it could be once again Pekka. Pekka not too great. I mean with Baby Dragon, as I showed like one of the last videos, it works. Okay, honestly, that's interesting enough from him. I think this is a bad play. Because now we get like a fully charged up Skelly King. As long as the Skelly King survives there. That's important, okay. I'm just gonna use my Skelly King ability really early on. He needs to... Okay, he still needs to drop something. Okay, he has Snowball. We still got one shot for zero elixir. From the skeleton, also the bowler might connect. No, okay. We have the bowl against bridge, and this is a particular, like, the main reason why we have bowl and stuff. The cannon card because it does so well against bridge bam. Also, it's way less. I would say it's way more anti anti lightning. So if your opponent's lightning, I mean, you have the zappies, you have the bowler, which is start doing way better against cannon cards. So the only problem we could really see is that we don't have like anything to kill the electrozard. So okay. I'm just going for Bowler here. He just lightning stead. Okay, not too bad. I'm just going Skelly King. I mean, it's unfortunate, but what I'm supposed to do, right? Sometimes you need to do things which you don't really want to do. Okay, I'm just going for Thompson Low here. Okay, that's fine. Just go Zappies here. That's not really fine. Please, Zappy, survive. Please don't charge, sir. Thank you very much for charging because now I'm losing like all my full HP tower. Okay, he's playing so well so far. Okay. Hmm. Bowler. That was honestly really, really well played by him. Okay, let's go in, I think, opposite lane here. I need to. I actually need to go in. Okay, I'm just gonna go snowball here. Pushing all the stuff back. I'm just gonna go now for my Zeppis in the back. Let's go Skelly King here. Tombstone. Fano Drag. Bola. Okay, interesting enough. No, I missed! No! We still could have won that! I guess. I mean, I had a good push on the left side. Ah, oh, we should have won. This was honestly a good match. He played really well. He played way better than us, but still shows how good Jamie this deck is. If you guys don't want to miss any videos in the future on this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, using Critical Morning Shop is highly appreciated. I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching and goodbye, guys.